Hello students, this is Aman Jain, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, uh, Sir Padampat Singh Nani, University of Udaipur. And uh, today, this, is, this video lecture is uh, on the subject pavement design, uh, where we are discussing the pavement materials and its uh, uh, properties and its design. So, let's start it. So, we are uh, we will discuss the uh, uh, mixed design method in payment design that is known as uh, that is known as Marshall mixed design. Let's have an overview overview of this thing. So the Marshall mix uh, design that is also known as uh, that is also known as a wave mix determines the optimum bitumen content. Uh, this is preceded by the dry mix design. Before we have done uh, dry mix design and now we are on to the weight mix design. So this is the uh, method uh, which is most popular and it is used uh, for uh, uh, designing purposes. So this is preceded by the dry mix design uh, discussed in the previous chapter. There are many methods available for mix design which vary in the size of the test specimen compaction and other tests uh, uh, specification marshall method as i said is the most popular one let's uh, go into the deep of marshall mix design marshall mix stability and the flow test provides performance uh, prediction measure for the marshall mix design method so it's provi it provides marshall stability and flow test two, uh, we get two readings uh, marshall stability and marshall and flow test. The stability portion of the test measures the maximum load supported by the test specimen at loading rate of this is the loading rate. Uh, I am highlighted 50.8 mm per minute. Load is applied to the specimen till failure. Uh, the maximum uh, load is, uh, is designated as the stability. So during the loading, an attached dial gauge is measured the specimen's plastic flow, uh, that is deformation. So due to the loading, the flow value is recorded in 0.25 mm, that is 0 0.01 inch, in increments at the same time when the maximum load is recorded. So uh, the two things which we are uh, measuring is first of all, stability and the second is flow value so the Marshall test design method gives us two things which is stability and the second one is flow value and the things which are to be remembered is the loading rate. Uh, loading rate is 50.8 mm per minute. And uh, secondly, uh, the loading or the deformation is recorded in uh, mm of 25 mm, that is uh, 0 0.01 inch so this both things are to be remembered okay so this is the Marshall mix design method and let's now go to the steps of this test or this design method so how do we prepare this specimen so we have to prepare the specimen of the uh, this thing approximately 1200 gram of aggregates and filler is heated at the temperature and uh, the, the range of a temperature 175 degrees Celsius to 190 degrees Celsius uh, bitumen is heated to a temperature of uh, 121 to 125 degrees Celsius uh, with the first trial percentage of bitumen say uh, 3.5 uh, uh, 3 or 4% we are taking first trial on 3.5 or 4% of the bitumen uh, by weight of the mineral aggregates 
the heated aggregates and bitumen are thoroughly mixed at a temperature of, of temperature of 154 to 160 degrees Celsius. And the mix is then the mix is placed in a preheated mold. So we are heating the mold previously. Uh, when we are starting the uh, when we are starting the test, we are uh, preheating the molds and uh, preheated mold, and then we are compacting it by a ramer by 50 blows. 50 blows on either side. Uh, we are uh, giving blows on either side. It means 50 on the upper side and 50 on the lower side. It's total 100 blows. Okay, on either side at the temperature of 138 degree to 149 degrees. It means little below uh, 150 degrees Celsius. So the weight of the mixed aggregate is taken for the preparation. The specimen may be suitably altered to obtain the compacted thickness. Uh, uh, so to obtain the compacted thickness of 63.5 mm, it may vary. Uh, the variation of 3 mm may be there. Um, uh, may, may be there. So where is the vitamin content in the next trial by plus 0.5 percent? So if you uh, if you have taken you have started from 3.5 percent you may uh, begin the next sample with the uh, increment of 0.5 percent that is 4 percent and if, uh, then 4.5 percent 5 percent 5.5 percent and so on so on so and repeat the above procedure number of trials are predetermined uh, the prepared model is loaded in the Marshall test setup uh, shown in the figure I'll show you the figure of the Marshall mix setup in the next figure so this is the Marshall mix setup uh, there's a proving ring over here where the loading is done this is the dial gauge this is the mold this is the mold and here you are uh, we are calculating uh, we are measuring the load over here and over here we are measuring the deformation on the proving ring so this is like that deformation this is uh, this may be also known as flow meter which we are seeing the flow meter over here so this is flow meter and this is load as I as we have discussed so here we will get the load of this and this is the specimen over here so this is how we are doing uh, this is the setup of the test after uh, um, doing that so let's the properties of uh, the properties that are of interest include the theoretical specific gravity GT. We denote theoretical specific gravity by this symbol GT, G and subscript T. The bulk modulus of a specific gravity GM. So there is another term bulk modulus of specific gravity GM. Then comes the percentage of air voids VV, V and V, then comes uh, percentage volume of bitumen VB, so then comes percentage of void and mixed aggregate VMA, VMA and percentage voids filled with bitumen that is VFB. So these are uh, the things which are of interest that is GT, GM, VV, VB. VMA and VFB. So the, we are calculating this thing, uh, this six things. Uh, the calculations are shown in the next slides. And to understand this uh, calculation, a uh, phase diagram is also given in the next slide. I'll show you that phase diagram. Let me have it first. And this is the phase diagram which is shown that uh, this is the coarse aggregate. This is coarse aggregate two of different sizes, fine aggregates, fillers bitumen and air voids. So what are all about? So this is VV and VB. Voids filled by bitumen, voids filled by air. So VV and VB. This both of these form VMA and this is fillers, fine aggregates, coarse aggregates. These are V1, V2, V3, V4 and this is the volume of the full mold and weight of bitumen, weight of uh, fillers, weight of fine aggregates, weight of coarse aggregate 2, weight of coarse aggregate to this one and this is the WM in this one. So this is the VMA. 
voids of mineral. So VMA is that thing. So let's begin with the GT. Uh, calculated that uh, this is what is theoretical specific gravity of the mix. So theoretical specific gravity GT is the specific gravity without considering the air voids and uh, is given by so this is the formula of theoretical specific gravity calculation that is GT equals to W1 plus W2 plus W3 plus W4 upon uh, W1 by G1 plus W2 by G1 plus W3 by G3 plus uh, W4 by <coughs> WB by w, uh, GB so WB by GB is the weight of vitamin so W1 is the weight of uh, coarse aggregate uh, in the total mix WB is the weight of the fine aggregate in the total mix W3 is the weight of the filler in the total mix WB is the weight of the vitamin in the total mix G1 is the apparent specific gravity of coarse aggregate uh, G2 is the apparent specific gravity of fine aggregate G3 is the apparent specific gravity of filler and GB is the apparent specific gravity of bitumen so this was GT let's find out what the bulk what is the bulk specific gravity of G mix that is this is denoted by GM the bulk specific gravity or the actual specific gravity of the mix GM is a specific gravity considering air whites and it is found by GM and the formula of GM is WM upon WM minus WW so this is the formula where WM is the weight of the mix in the air WM, WW is the weight of the mix in water so we are weighing it in a special, a special weighing machine that is attached with the watt pound uh, with it and firstly we are calculating the weight of uh, the specimen in the air and then we are dropping it in the watt pound and then we are taking it uh, taking the weight so uh, no, we, we have to note that WM by WW gives the volume of mix sometimes to get accurate bulk specific gravity the specimen is coated with a thin film of paraffin wax and then weight is taken in the water this however requires to consider uh, requires to consider the weight and volume of the wax in the calculation. So, if you are waxing the you are applying wax to the uh, specimen for getting uh, accurate bulk specific gravity, so we have to consider the weight and volume of the uh, paraffin wax also. So, let's uh, now uh, study the air voids percent. So, air voids percent. Uh, <coughs> is VV is the percent of air percentage of air weight by volume uh, in the specimen uh, that is again uh, it is shown by the VV VV is GT minus GM into 100 upon GT where GT is thirty specific gravity of the max and uh, is given by the equation 26 by 1 and 26.1 and GM is the bulk or actual specific gravity the percentage volume of the bitumen is shown by VB the volume or volume VB is the percentage volume of bitumen to the total volume and it is given by WB by GB this is the formula for VB uh, VB is equal to W1 by W2 plus W3 plus W4 upon GM W1 is the weight of force aggregate as you know, W2 you know weight of fine aggregate, W3 is weight of filler, WB or W4 I think is weight of vitamin, GB is the weight specific gravity of vitamin and GM is bulk specific gravity of the mix given by uh, which we calculated before. Let's see what the VMA is. VMA is volume avoids in mineral aggregates, avoids in mineral aggregates is uh, shown by VMA. Uh, is the volume of voids and aggregates and is the sum of air voids and volume of bitumen and is calculated by VM equals to VB uh, plus VB because some of the volume is occupied by bitumen uh, some of the voids are occupied by bitumen 
and some is left as air white. <coughs> so VB is percentage of air whites in the mix and uh, VB is percentage of vitamin content in the mix that is given by that equation. So volume whites filled with vitamin is VFB. Uh, so, so this is VFB. So uh, whites filled with vitamin is VFB. Uh, and VFB is the voids in the mineral aggregates framework filled with the vitamin and is calculated as VFB equals to VB into 100 upon VMA. So where VB is percentage vitamin content in the mix given by equation 26.4 and VMA is percentage voids in the mineral aggregate given by equation 26.5 which we read in the previous one. <coughs> Determine, determination of uh, martial stability and flow. So martial stability of a test specimen is maximum load required to produce failure when the specimen is created to a prescribed temperature placed in a specific special test head uh, and the load is applied to a constant strain that is 5 cm per minute. So this is martial stability when we are that, um, keeping that uh, test specimen. Uh, in the maximum load required to produce failure. So, while the stability test is progress, dialysis is used to measure the vertical deformation on the specimen. The deformation at the failure point expressed in the units of 0.25 mm is called martial flow value of the specimen. So, this, this is how we are determining the martial stability and flow. And now we are now we'll apply some correction to the head. Uh, it is possible while making the specimen thickness slightly vary from the standard specification that is 63.5 mm. Therefore, measured stability values need to be corrected to those which would have been obtained if the specimen has been exactly 63.5 mm. This is done by multiplying each measured stability value by an appropriate correlation factors given in this table. So, this is a table in which the correction factors for martial stability values are applied. So this is the volume of the specimen and this is the thickness of the specimen and there is a correction factor over there. So this is how we correct. And now we have to prepare graphical plots. Uh, the average value of the above properties are determined for each mix, each mix um, with different vitamin content and so following graphical plots are prepared. Binder content versus uh, corrected martial stability. Binder content versus martial flow. Binder content versus percentage of fluid. Per percentage of voids, that is VV. In the total mix, binder content versus void filled with the vitamin. Binder content versus unit weight or bulk specific gravity, that is GM. And uh, how to determine the optimum vitamin content? So determine the optimum binder content for a mix designed by taking average values of <coughs> following three vitamin contents found in the graph obtained in the previous step. Binder content corresponding to maximum stability. <coughs> we have to take uh, the binder content uh, where the maximum stability is. Binder content corresponding to maximum bulk specific gravity that is GM and binder content corresponding to the median of design limits of percentage VV in the total mix that is 4%. So the stability value or flow value and VFB are checked with the Marshall Mix Design Specification chart in the table that is given on the next page. Uh, Mixes with the uh, very high stability value and low flow value are not desirable. So this help this has to be kept in uh, mind that uh, we have to uh, not uh, we don't have to take such mixes with high stability value and low flow value uh, and are not desirable as the pavements constructed with such mixes are likely to have the cracks due to heavy moving loads. So this is the uh, specification table over here. Uh, martial stability is given in kgs, uh, 3 sport days minimum. And flow value in 2.25 mm units should be 18 to 17 percent of air voids in the mix 
80 percent R2E taken at 3 to 5 percent, and voids with the vitamin B every percentage is varying from 75 to 85 percent. So, and the graphs, Marshall graphical plots are like this. So this is the graph the plots between stability and vitamin percentage, flow value and vitamin percentage. <coughs> unit weight and vitamin percentage, air voids and vitamin percentage and volume of um, volume filled with vitamin with the vitamin percentage. So these are the graphs where we have to uh, keep in our mind and uh, this is how we will go through the Marshall Mix Design Attack. Thank you and have a nice day.